Hello everyone, this is Ben with ERP Connect Consulting, and in today's video, we're gonna walk you through how to use our Auto Create Dimensions extension. So after downloading our extension from either AppSource or our website, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come up here and type Auto Create Dimensions in the search bar, and you wanna select the first option, which is the Auto Create Dimensions setup. What this is gonna do is it's gonna bring you into our setup window and allow you to start linking master data with dimensional data. And the first main purpose uh, of doing so is you're now gonna be able to take some of this master data like customers and vendors and things like that and report on them from the general ledger, which is something that you can't do now. Every time you wanna go see that data, typically you're clicking that find entries button and you're gonna to have to drill deeper and deeper. Now this is gonna allow you to actually see things like revenue per customer, uh, expense per vendor, things like that directly in your general ledger. So we'll get there in a second, but first I wanna show you how to set up the extension in order to be successful with it. So the first thing you'll need to do is generate the demo key up top here. That will fill out all the activation information here below and allow you to use the extension for free for 30 days after which you can reach out to us and we can either give you a yearly license or a perpetual license that will never expire. So after you deal with those things, the first thing you wanna do is come up here and activate the extension. This will now allow all of this functionality to come alive and anytime you create any of these records, it will also create uh, the dimension for you. So what you'll see here is I currently have the customer number linked to global dimension one and I have the employee number linked to Global Dimension 2. So, of course, this assumes that some of the general ledger setup that you have is already in place as well. So keep in mind, customer go into that Global 1. If I come to general ledger setup here, you'll want to make sure, again, that that customer dimension is sitting at the Global Dimension 1 code and the employee is Global Dimension 2. If we were to link a third, we would just need to make sure that we create a third dimension, link it here, and then all of that linkage in our extension will work as well. So let's go back here and uh, look at some of the other fields that we can link here. So again, we've got posting groups, we've got customer states, item categories, locations, vendor, salesperson, employee, which I already have mapped. So a lot of great functionality here that we can link. And then of course, the last thing you'll wanna make sure is that up in the dimensions here, again, just out of box business central functionality that this customer um, has been created, linked to global one, and then uh, everything should work accordingly. So if I come up here to my customer, and I look at my customer list, right? It's gonna end at 2,600. I'm about to go create a customer in Business Central for the first time. And we should see that that dimension value will auto create and it will auto assign a default at the customer level. So let's jump in transactionally to what's next after we've got the setup complete. We'll come back here to the home screen and click on customers. I'm gonna create 2,700 here. I'll just call it Ben's test customer. And because of the template we had, a few of these other things should be filled out like the customer posting group and the payment terms code. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and add an address. Go to Dallas, Texas, 75206. All right, we've got now everything we need to be successful with this customer moving forward. And if I click this customer default dimensions, you'll also notice that that dimension code was automatically created. We did not have that before as we just saw. It's automatically putting my name in there that I just gave to the customer and it's creating a customer number. See here, C02700. It's creating the same customer number in the default dimensions uh, and the dimension value in order to keep things very simple, very easy, and very searchable when we go over to our general ledger entries. So let's keep that in mind as we go to the next phase, which is gonna be creating a sales invoice. So now that the customer is completely set up, we can come back home and go to our sales invoices. I'm gonna create a sales invoice here. We'll use that customer that we just created and I'm gonna sell them the auto create dimensions extension. Uh, we'll, we'll sell it to them on a yearly basis. And you'll notice here that the customer code was automatically updated from, again, that's just out of box business central functionality of using default dimensions at a master record level like a customer. And we also see that customer code down here in the invoice details. So this to me indicates we have everything we need now to go and post this. 
if I go ahead and post this, I should now see in my general ledger entries. If I come over here and do a filter on my customer, let's go 2700. I can now see in my general ledger entries that I have $500 of revenue and $500 of AR at this customer 2700. If I click on it, I can see who that customer is. So let's go create a few more just to show you some of the other things and how this can be very beneficial to you. We are just going to create one more invoice. We'll come down here. We'll sell that same product just so we can get $1,000 at this customer. And then we'll go ahead and make a payment next. Again, 2700 there, 2700 here. You can see how this is making the, the speed of the invoicing quicker as well because we don't have to add all of those things in. And I'm just going to create a manual payment real quick in a general journal. So that's for that customer, 2700. We'll come in here. We'll just create a quick manual payment into their Chase Bank. And we'll go ahead and post this. And what I want to show now is that if I come into the customer again, we'll see that I've got a balance of 500. <clears throat> I've got a balance due of 500. I've got sales of 1,000. Um, and in this case, uh, I must not have clicked payment. That's okay. Payment zero, but we know that we have a $500 payment in there somewhere. So now if I come back to my general ledger entries, what I'm going to see if I filter on the customer again, and we can create saved views here if you're, if you're looking for that. Now we can see, okay, I've got two product revenue lines, 500 and 500 for a total of 1,000. I've got three AR lines, a negative and a positive right here, right? We got our, our credit and our debit, and then we have a $500 balance in AR because we did just create a payment. And now I can also see at that customer that we have a $500 payment to the Chase checking account, right? So again, we're in our general ledger entries, as you can see up here, and now I'm able to do something that I have not been able to do before, which is report at a customer level from my general ledger entries. So now I don't have to go to find entries, don't have to click on the posted um, the posted customer ledger entries or anything like that in order to see, I guess that one was the payment, this one might be the invoice. So I don't have to click into the invoice to see who that customer was. Again, I can see that directly on my general ledger entries, which is awesome functionality and helps a lot of people save a lot of time, both with queries like I'm doing here, as well as on reporting, um, depending on, you know, which reporting tool you are using, but that that dimension should be available, whether you're using account schedules or any third party um, application out there. So that's a little bit about our auto create dimension extension. Like we showed a lot of different functionality that can be very useful and time saving in business central. If there's anything else that you'd like to see within this extension, we'd love to hear your feedback. If there's any additional questions on Business Central in general or this extension, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or reach out to us at any time. We look forward to hearing from you and look forward to publishing our next video soon. Thanks, everybody.